Hi, this is John with Mike's Mountain Mycology. I uh, wanted to show you guys how I do my straw lime process for uh, putting in buckets. So it's pretty simple. And uh, essentially, you just need some lime, a 30 gallon container. You need to be able to drill some kind of hole or poke a hole in the bottom of it for draining. And it then it just takes about four days, essentially, three, four days to be able to do this. And then you can pack it in buckets and inoculate the buckets and grow as many mushrooms as you would like. So here we go. Simple. I like using these step bits and you just want to drill a hole all the way down through. I like to use these corks. Um, they're you know, from your, from your, you know, olive oil bottle or from, you know, your wine that you had last week. They seem to fit pretty well. They've got a little rubber or plastic top on them. They, they work fairly well. Replug the hole. At that point, um, I'd like to put on gloves um, just before I add any of the lime. The, the lime does seem to, you know, rip up your hands pretty good. I know there's lots of guys out there that'll, you know, say that it doesn't matter, but I, I like to put on a pair of gloves. You want hydrated lime. You want the real powdery. You don't want chunky. Um, this is the only thing that you can get. If you try to use the granulated form, it, it will not work. You have to use powdered hydrated lime. Um, for about 30 gallons, which that's what this is, you want about a cup. That'll bring the pH up to uh, above about 12.5. Um, you can use pH paper to test that if you would like, but usually a cup for 30, 40 gallons will do just fine. At this point, you want to fill it up about halfway full, maybe a third full of, of, of water. Make sure that lime gets nice and, and mixed, and then we'll go ahead and put in the straw. All right, now that we have it about halfway full of water, maybe a little bit more, we'll go ahead and add our straw. Um, don't try to use anything else but straw. Um, and lots of the guys will use, um, they'll, they'll try to chop this up real finely and put it in baskets or, or you know, poly bags and submerge it in there. I, I skip that step entirely. I just get enough that it'll lodge itself within the can. Push it all the way down underneath the water surface, which I have a trick for that. But it'll expand once it gets in there and it'll hold itself in the bottom of the can. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. There we go. I'm just going to top it off, put a little bit more water over the over the surface of it. And then you want to leave this for 24 hours. Pull the plug, drain it, tip it on its side, make sure it's completely dry for at least another 24 hours. And then you can go ahead and use that and load it up and inoculate it <coughs> in in five gallon buckets or, or, or one gallon buckets for that matter. This much will do usually for me about four or five gallon buckets is what it'll do. Shameless plug, uh, we now have some merchandise in the store. Um, it's my Mike's Mountain Mycology shirt and uh, back to the hood mycology on the back. So please do me a favor, go get some merchandise. Okay. Um, if you've got a problem with this not lodging itself within the can and it won't stay below the water surface, what you can do is you can just flip the lid over Put on a five gallon bucket, fill this and the lid full of water, and that'll, that'll submerge everything below the surface. You'll want to go ahead and fill up the container 100% full until it's overflowing at the top with water at that point. But that, that in case of everything so much being in there and trying to push itself up, this is an easy way to hold it down and you need to keep everything below the surface of the water. Otherwise you're going to end up with 
potential contamination. Much love, everybody, and hope to see you in the PNW. Thank you.